Mick injury. Connor McDavid expected to miss the next one to two weeks for the Edmonton Oilers. They're calling it an upper body injury. Uh, Jason Greger shared this clip of McDavid skating to the bench late in that game against the Winnipeg Jets. And uh, if you're a lip reader, Greger says, sounds like maybe he says tore something. Regardless, this is going to keep McDavid out of the lineup. You see the area he's kind of grabbing his lower back, maybe his hip area um this is really not good for the Edmonton Oilers one win in their first five games and now without their captain for two weeks yeah you take a, a city in which it already felt like the sky was falling in a year with cup or bust expectations and now you add in this injury to the best player on planet earth who by the way has not really missed time for a few seasons now um to me, something about, I'm not a doctor, but something about Connor McDavid just hasn't really looked quite right all season long. He hasn't been doing the McDavid-like things, and I wonder if this is connected at all to um, you know, his start of the year. Could not be, uh, and it could just be that he's a guy that's trying to find his footing and, and trying to wear some of those expectations and why this year feels so different, but He's never really wilted under pressure before. I doubt that that's what he's going through now. And I just, I got a live in person viewing last week in Philly. No shots on goal, not really creating a lot through the neutral zone and off the rush. Like it just, something seemed off. And I'm wondering if this is a way that we could possibly explain how that start has looked for number 97. Yeah, and it's not just been 97 off to a slow start for the Edmonton Oilers. Frank, I'm not sure if you caught Evander Kane's comments during the intermission of their game against the Winnipeg. He dropped the gloves, got in a fight, and then told Scott Oak on Hockey Night in Canada, quote, I didn't play much in the first period, so I figured might as well get into a fight and take seven or eight minutes in the box. Uh, it feels like there's just a lot going on. I saw we have a question about that in the DFO YouTube as well. From uh, Kelly, who says this is the Evander Kane we were worried about when the Oilers signed him. Um, it, it's just there's a lot not going well in Edmonton, is my point. Yeah. And look, maybe this allows for a reboot. We've seen in the past that teams really pull together and start to play a lot better, especially when you're missing a big piece like a Connor McDavid from your lineup. And I know that the Heritage Classic is looming on Sunday, Battle of Alberta against the Calgary Flames at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. They said one to two weeks for a reason. I'd be pretty surprised if you don't see 97 in the lineup for the outdoor game, the 20th anniversary of the NHL's first outdoor game back in 2003. Maybe it'll add some drama to the Heritage Classic. You know, who is McDavid taking warm-ups? Oh, he is taking warm-ups. Is he going to play how much? I don't know. Why not? Something for us to talk about, at least. Look, you never want to see a, a star player such as this one missing any time. Um, and tough timing for the Oilers, as you mentioned, with their start to the year. But who knows? Maybe this will be a catalyst.